Yeah, very specifically, it's like you're here at the trailhead. This is the trailhead. You videoing me? Yeah. Talking like an idiot? Good morning, it's Monday morning. Matt and I are here and we're starting a backpacking loop at the Capitol Creek Cirque. And despite our channel being called Backpacking with Kids, our, we don't have kids today. They are at camp for the week. And so we are doing our first backpacking trip without them since we had kids. Yeah, about 10 years. So looking forward to this. startled me for a second. Hi. Hi, girlfriend. All right, you guys go. We're going this way. You go that way. You're a spitting image. Oh. Hi, Mama. Yeah, just Hi, Oh, where were you going? Oh, good grief. This is like a like a field trip for daycare. Yeah. It's been a big climb and we've still got more to go. But very beautiful area. Come up now. We need to come up and over this pass right here before the afternoon storms come in. So I've got a little climbing, but should need to book it a little bit to get up and over that pass soon. Unfortunately, went three miles in the wrong direction early this morning. Three and a half. So we had to turn around and come back. That was a big climb too. Um, but now we're heading the right direction and we've got some beautiful views.
Capitol Peak. And then right here is the pass for Capitol Peak. We came over that yesterday afternoon. Just came up over this pass to see these views. Beautiful meadow down there. I think one of these mountains is called Meadow Mountain. Refilling our water, having a snack. All right, guys, this is uh, Matt. I've got um, Brody and Becca. Becca here. We ran into him on our hike. Robin and I are by ourselves, which is a rare thing. We don't have our two kids with us, so we thought we'd interview these guys. Brody, you're how old? Uh, 14. 14? Okay, and Becca is Brody's mom. So, uh, you know, in light of backpacking with kids, let's ask them some questions. So, Brody, what did you like about, uh, what do you like about backpacking? Well, I just like being in nature. Uh, it's really pretty. That's just something I've always liked, really. Uh, and the challenge of it, too, especially going over the passes. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of satisfaction once you get to the top, and then you're able to um, come all the way down and camp. And you know that you accomplished something. Cool. What did you learn about this trip? Um, well, it was a lot more scary than I thought it was going to be. There were yeah. a lot of ledges with very steep incline drops for a very large amount of time, which I was not really expecting, but it was okay. So. Okay, cool. And what can you tell parents about backpacking to get them to go backpacking with you? Uh, I think start small and then make sure that they like it, like with anything. And then as, uh, once they grow the passion for it, then you can start bringing them on longer trips. Cool. Nice. And Becca, what about you? What did, uh, what, what's different about backpacking with kids and what did, what did you like about it? Well, it's both more fun and a little more scary because you have your kids with you and, and you don't want anything bad to happen to them. And I was more afraid you were going to fall. I <laughs> <laughs> thought it was more likely. Uh, but it's so fun to do something like this with your kids. It's something that I've always loved and haven't really done, done it at all since college. So um, I'm just lucky that I have a son that's willing to do this with me. And we started with car camping because that's what, you know, I figured that's car camping and, and day hikes and just a little bit harder each time. And Yeah, this is the first really circle or through hike that we've done, especially at this length. Before this, we've only done like six miles in and then six miles out yeah uh, we stay for a couple of days so this is definitely a big change you guys good on food oh yeah it's cool we have just the right amount of food all right good <laughs> good morning good morning it's our third day we had a good sleep last night at the base of the geneva lake trailhead we were hoping to go to the top of the geneva lake but the legs are too tired from the mistake we made yesterday we went six extra miles so we did 18 miles yesterday which i think is our biggest day ever i think so so um you know we tend to do a lot of backpacking on the colorado trail and there's not a lot of navigation requirements and we just made a wrong turn first thing in the morning yesterday and sent us off in the wrong direction but now we've got this beautiful waterfall up here climbing up the geneva lake i'm gonna go have some coffee up there
Good morning, Marmot. Were those your footprints back there in the snow? Oh, bye-bye. Have a good day. Oh, oh. Not time to leave yet? You forget something. Bye-bye. So Matt has his sandals on because we're about ready to board that. Morning, it's our fourth day of our trip. It's 4.30 in the morning. We're getting an early start today because yesterday was 90 degrees. It was too hot to feel comfortable hiking. We've got a big climb ahead of us. Anything to add? We Just didn't sleep, sleep real last night. We were at an established campsite. And should have, our tent was set up at an angle. We should have set it up, set it up a little better, but we were really tired. We've had two of our high miles, the most high mile days we've ever had. And uh, we're headed to uh, out of the car. So hopefully we'll be there and go get some cheeseburgers. back to the car hopefully the trail we're on unfortunately is not a marked trail on our map or my inreach GPS device so but the trail is clearly a trail there's cairns we're headed in the general direction of the car um, hopefully this is an unremarkable exit. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can check out our other material at littlebackbreakers.blogspot.com.